Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I am just going to continue to cut up these small pieces of video and um, let me just uh, recap what we're doing here and that is to just learn the basics of this video editing uh, software. We're going to use or I have been using this Windows Media Sample Clip and this is just a piece of demo um, uh, video that has lots of little tiny clips in it and we're just going to do a quick re-edit to it so we can learn how to use this program. So um, I'm going to let you see it again. Here's the video. And I've taken the music all the way down, but you'll be able to see that there's um, quite a few smaller cuts here. There's the third one. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut these little things into pieces so that we can then rearrange them, add transitions, add music, and things like that, and then uh, possibly even upload them to YouTube or somewhere else. And then the next thing I want to do is show you how to get through these um, or manage these. So um, look, if you roll your mouse over to each one of them, you'll see that their duration is three or four seconds apiece, five seconds, five seconds, three seconds, four, and five. Um, at this point what we can do is we can move these things around. I can put the beaver first, I can put the koala bear second, I can put the horses third, um, and then we can sort of go through and see the sea animals if you want to. Um, and So we can do this all day long. If you want to see what it looks like, I believe that this will let you start at the very start and just start playing it. So here's our um, beaver, koala bear, onto the horses, and you'll see that it just plays the videos that we've laid out. And we can go through and we can rearrange these. And if we want to put the horses, um, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's put the koala bear um, in the middle, right after the sea lions here, and um, we'll mix up the birds a little bit. We'll put the birds second. Um, so the next thing I want to do is show you how to add some uh, visual effects and animation. So what we can do is take a look at these and add um, transitions um, to our video clip. And if you take a look, what I've got selected here is this clip right here. And it's showing me all the transitions that are available or what the transitions will look like as I roll over the top of them um, to add them to the clip. So um, there's a whole bunch of these um, and you can go through and depending on the speed of your computer it may look a little bit jumpy, it may it may not look perfect right now, but at least it'll give you an idea of how these things will look once you put the transitions in. We can select the transition that goes there and then we can also choose the duration of the transition. So if you want to make it really fast you can do that and um, let's see, I'm going to hit the space bar to see if it plays it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, if I take it back to the start, I'm going to hit play and I'll show you what this transition looks like. Yeah, Oop, there it goes. Okay, so um, from there we're going to go ahead and add transitions to the rest of these and we can add different transitions if we want to. Um, we can add the same transitions um, And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Um, I'm just going to put a different transition with all of these. Okay, so you guys can see what they look like. So let's take a look at that. Zips out. And my computer's struggling a little bit on that one, but uh, once it renders, it should be fine. Um, once we've finished that, then the next thing we can do is we can apply some filters to each one of these if we want to. And a filter is simply, you know, making the video look a little bit different, um, making it look a little bit more artistic if we want to, um, making it change colors, um, can control the hues and saturations, and um, you know, different uh, types of effects as well. So. 
um, and um, that little control panel called visual effects will help you do that um, and I think that's all I want to show you with the video effects and transitions once we're finished with this piece here we can play it of course and um, and then we're ready to send it out to Windows. Um, actually, we're ready to publish this thing. Okay, so um, what we can do is we can hit save, and let's go ahead and save this thing. And um, I'm going to call it Demo 2 since uh, we've already got a Demo 1 there. And hit save. And then I'm going to just upload it to YouTube. Um, one thing we didn't do here is add music. Um, but we can do that as well. Um, and just like that. I'm just going to title this thing Windows Live um, Demo Edit uh, Description public and I'm just going to hit publish. What it's going to do at this point is save this movie, it's meaning that it's going to render all of the transitions, put the music over the top and make it a finished movie and then automatically upload it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and let it do that and um, then we'll, we'll take a look at YouTube and see what it did for us. Okay so once this completed um, it tells me that my demo movie has been published and I can either open up the folder or view it online and so I'm gonna click view it online okay so the video has just completed processing and here's what our finished video looks like um, there's no sound there's our transition there's our colors there's our sepia tone there's our transition and five seconds and another transition and another couple seconds and another transition and there we go one more I think and we're all done